Hi y'all, I'm making a fence clamp stretcher. So this will clamp on the fence and then when I stretch the fence it'll keep it even and not tweak it out. Anyways, what I did is I took two four foot two by fours, uh, screwed them together here uh, and here, just put two screws in all the I way drew, through so uh, they're straight. Um, I don't think you have one, but I use a little bird's nest here to make sure you go through straight. Um, 40 drill goes in through there. But anyways, drill the straight holes through. And then what I did is um, I counterbored these out. I think it was uh, one and a, one and three eighths Fosner bit. And what I did, I just sunk them in a little bit to keep them straight. Uh, you don't have to do that though. And I put spray paint around it so I can put it back in the same fashion, not upside down, or so the bolts all line up. Next thing I'm doing is I'm bolting these in so they don't, I don't have to sit there and play with the other end um, when I'm tightening them. It'll be a lot quicker. So what I did is I drilled a um, hmm, three-quarter inch uh what do you call it, a paddle bit. I went three-quarter inch down the thickness of the bolt, then tightened the bolt from the other side, so it drew the, <coughs> excuse me, it drew the nut in. And so now when I put the other board in, I'll just tighten down, I'll sit there and play with these loose bolts. So again, all I did is um, put the hole in there, put the half-inch bolt in, put the nut on, drilled the three-quarter inch, just about a half inch to cover the thickness of the bolt, drew it in so it looks like that. Big washer, all nice and tight. So when I'm out in the field, I have to worry about, you know, tightening both ends. I see you. Anyways, um, so what this is going to do is I also, I don't want to deal with washers out there either, so I just put a couple of screws and, and set these in with a one and three sixteenths. Fasten a bit, and what you do is um, put these right on there, wing nut them down, and then this will clamp your fence so you can draw it. All right, all right, a little design modification. I took the two end bolts out and um, unscrewed them partly, then gave it a tap with a hammer so we knocked the nut out that was stuck in there. So I could drill a one inch hole down about a half inch past the hole going through for the bolt. And then what we're gonna do is just drop the chain in there, hook it through the, oops, sorry, hook it through the bolt, and um, put the nut on, then it'll stay in like this. So now we have a good dryer, you know, it won't break that. Uh, taken apart, obviously. And then what we're gonna do is just put this on here, clamp it together, put these wing nuts on here. One of these ratcheting pullers, if you don't have one, you probably want to get one. It's good for barbed wire, single wire. These things clamp on, hold wires, put them together, draw them together. What I'm going to do is, play in my muddy field here, um, what I'm going to do is hook it onto the chain I put on, get somewhat in the middle, ratchet it on. Watch that stretch. how tight that is already that is all right that's it all right one thing i wanted to show you is this little tool um i already done out there but for wrapping the wire around the post this thing works pretty easy let's just say these are the two wires and this is the post you got to wrap this one so all you do is just uh put this little tool on here hook the wire have the words facing towards you the hook's always away from you and then you can just uh, wrap your wire this easy. It saves your fingers after doing this for a few hours. You'll see why. But look at how nice it wraps the wire. It's easy on the fingers. Voila. Hope we can use this.